Hello guys and welcome back to another player view on the channel and we had to do this one. My favourite player of all time and he's got an absolutely jacked card for future stars and it is Stevie G, the man, the myth, the absolute legend of the game. Of course. Um, so if you do enjoy today's play review, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button for me. It is greatly appreciated. And if you're new around here, please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews and FIFA related content today. It's all about future stars. CVG. He's going for about 700k between 650 and 700 at the moment. He's settling, um, but obviously he is out for a couple more days. So he could go higher, could go lower. Who knows? Um, he's got a high, high work rate, six foot. And they have finally jacked him to a four-star skill, four-star weak foot, where it makes him a lot more usable than his other cards. He can play centre mid and CDM. A bit strange they can't play cam as well, to be honest. Um, but yeah, he can play centre mid and CDM. And his card looks absolutely juiced, doesn't it, compared to his normal. Uh, the four-star, four-star is going to, I think, be a big one in... In the difference between the two cards now he's got 84 acceleration 85 sprint speed which is absolutely fantastic for a box to box center mid type card shooting category obviously amazing 95 long shots and 94 shot power though that stand out 85 follies and 85 penalties are the lowest there and then he's got 90 finishing and 90 attack positioning his passing amazing again though absolutely brilliant everything 96 long pass and 94 short pass with the play style pluses as well i think he's going to be really good i really do he's dribbling uh the agility and balance are a bit low on 80 and 80 there um quite similar to like a zidane type of card really um in that category but he also has 87 reactions 92 ball control 85 dribbling and 85 composure and his defending is pretty good 80 across the board there uh, so he's got 82 interception, 77 hen, 80 defensive awareness, 82 stand tackle and 77 slide tackle. So he could play him CDM, I think, especially with the physicals as well, with 80 jumping, 90 stamina, 83 strength and 86 aggression. But I think the box-to-box -box centre mid roll is going to be better for him. Um, and he comes with incisive pass plus and ping pass, which I think is going to be so good on this car. He also has long ball, whip pass, power shot, and uh, Traveller, which is very nice to see. Um, so, yeah, some amazing play style pluses there. With the four star, four star, I genuinely think he's going to be so much better than his normal cards and a lot more usable in this game. So, let's find out. If this Gerard card is an absolute beast, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping he's going to stick in my team for the rest of the game now. I think no matter what, he probably will do anyway. But I'm not going to be biased. I will give my honest opinions of him in game. If you've seen any of my other Gerard reviews or Liverpool player reviews, I am not biased. I will give you my honest opinion about the cards. Um, and yeah, Stevie G, cannot wait for this one, guys. And if you do need coins to go and pick up Stevie G, because he's 700k, then check out our sponsor, u7buy.com, and use the code Josh97 to get yourself a cheeky 6% off at checkout. All the links you need are in the description below. And without further ado, let's get on into the review. So here we go, into match number one. He's got a Ribery, same as us. He's got a Eusebio card. And an Evolution's there in the midfield. Hopefully, we're going to... Get some nice goals, nice assists with Gerard, and see what he's all about. Obviously, we got him in the mighty Reds kit. Come on. Lovely ball into Ribery, and Ribery gets absolutely dinnered. Oh, here's Gerard. There we go. First goal of the game from Stevie G. And he took it really well, to be fair. Nice bit of skill there. Obviously, four-star skills being much better than the three-star. Um, and then gets himself into a nice position. And someone with 91 shooting is going to finish that, aren't they? Nice goal. Into Gerard! <laughs> Stevie G with the power shot. And that is what Gerard's about. What a strike that is. Oh my god, what a goal from Stevie. He's here again. Oh, look at that for a ball. I thought we'd have a shot, but really nice play. Oh, we find Stevie again. <laughs> it's a hat trick. It's a hat trick from Stevie G. Within 17 minutes of FIFA, 
and it's a rage quit. Good night. What a performance that is from him. That absolute screamer. We're going to watch again there. Um, and to confirm, he does have the skinhead in game as well, which is nice to see on Stevie G. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Um, but let's have a look at this absolute screamer from Stevie. Power shot. Here we go. Bang. Pit that out the back of the net. What a finish that is. So here we go into match number two. And... Decent team. I mean, not the best at this stage, but nice, different team. Not some players that you don't normally see in there, like Berbatov. Um, really nice to see, actually. I did like Berbatov at the start of the game, but yeah, he soon dropped off, didn't he? Um, but yeah, this. Hopefully, after the first game, Gerard was just insane, wasn't he? So, but hopefully, we'll get some big things from him in this one as well. He's still going. Still going, we get a free kick. And you know full well we're going to take it with Gerard. You know full well. We may as well have a dig. That was close. That is just Stevie-esque, isn't it? What a finish that is. Oh, my God. The long shots on Stevie G. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Bursting run from Gerard. Oh, oh. Close again. But this time, no cigar. Oh, these are so fun to watch. Nice play. Lovely play. Can we get a goal? No, we can't. Oh, brilliant play. Great save by Peter Schmeichel there. Maybe not this time. It isn't this time. It's another finish from Stevie G. His second of the game in this one. Took it very well. I mean, to be fair, out of the two shots he had then... I'd expect um, Schmeichel to save the second one that went in rather than the first one, but he didn't. And it's another goal for Steven Gerrard. Oh, great tackle. Great tackle from Stevie G. We're in here. Can we score? Yes, we can. And that all came from a quick win of the ball from Stevie G in the middle of the park, playing it into Salah. Salah through to Kerr, and it's a lovely finish. And another rage quit. Two goals from Stevie G in this one. Absolutely fantastic performance. That's five goals in two games so far. Just insane from a centre mid. He's playing a box-to-box -box role. Really, really good. So here we go into match number three. And that is the first time I've ever come up against Ramirez and Melito. So nice to see some different players in this team again. But Gerard has been on fire. Five goals in two games from a centre mid. And some of them long shot power shots are insane. I wonder if we can score another in this one. Nice play. Back to Gerard on the edge. The Traveller. Look at the power on that shot. Absolutely blasts it into the back of the net. This is the Gerard card. All those Liverpool fans have been waiting for. He is actually insane. And so he should be. What a card this is. I am absolutely loving it. Finally, we've got a usable Gerard, who's actually so good. Can we get another? Oh, good save by Schmeichel. Oh, Stevie G cuts inside. Great save by the keeper. Again, tried the finesse shot there. I shouldn't really be trying finesses with him, but we did. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't the greatest for obvious reasons. Oh, Ribery. We'll take it. We'll take it. It wasn't really a power shot, even though it was a power shot. But at least it went in the back of the net. That's the main thing. Don't know why he stopped. I was hoping he would just run straight onto it and absolutely blast it into the back of the net. He didn't, but at least it went in. Oh, Gerard, unlucky. What a ball from Gerard to split the play there. Can Sam Kerr score? No, she can't, but it's amazing ball. His passing is so good.
Lovely ball over to Tevez, and Tevez absolutely does the defender. There is Gerard's first assist of the review, and it was a really nice ball using that uh, ping pass, was it? Plus, is it ping pass? I'm not too sure, I can't remember, but <laughs> yeah, he was using the playstyle plus anyway to make that pass really accurate, really nice, so he could get the assist, and obviously, Tevez is fantastic. If you do want to see a Tevez review, please do let me know. I haven't actually reviewed him yet, but I did his SBC because I actually, even though we play for United and Man City, I did actually really rate Tevez as a player. I really enjoyed him, watching him. Come on, Stevie. Oh, Stevie G makes us go in front, 4-3 there, running down the wing, coming inside, and then using that uh, Travella play style as well to get the goal there. Fantastic from Steven Gerrard. There we go again, showing his play style. Vinny couldn't get there, though. Somehow we still got it. Another Travella this time off the post. And Tevez follows up there. His Travellas are insane. His long shots are insane. His finishing's insane. I can't believe how good this Gerard card is. I'm so happy we finally got a good Gerard card on the game. He deserves it. And he's definitely staying in my team. And if you Liverpool fans get the chance to buy Stephen Gerrard... Go and buy him because your emotional connection to the man and how good he performs in game. You'll just absolutely love this card, especially with that skinhead. Three goals in this one, two in the second, three in the first. That is an insane record from a box-to-box -box midfielder. But let's get into the player summary. But I, I know you can already tell what I'm going to say about this card. So here we are and my overall thoughts and opinions of future stars Steven Gerrard. I actually played three games and he got eight goals and one assist because someone's uh, rage quit straight away. But that is insane. Three games, eight goals and an assist. That's nine goal contributions in three games from a central midfielder. And the goals he was scoring were fantastic, weren't they? This card is absolutely brilliant. And for a box-to-box -box centre mid, I don't think there is many better on the game. Apart from like Hullet um, and the top, top tier icons um, and obviously the team of the years. But in this price range, under a million coins, I don't think you're going to find anyone better, if I'm honest with you. I really don't. This card is genuinely jokes. I actually seen him score some fantastic goals, getting an assist and he was winning the ball back as well. He did a superb job for our team and his pace, he feels really quick. Obviously, the long shots are fantastic, especially with the Traveller as well. Uh, really nice. His passing, so good. His dribbling, he feels a lot, lot better on the ball. Don't get me wrong, he's no messy on the ball, and he, <laughs> and he never will be. Um, but he feels hell of a lot better compared to his normal card on the ball. And paired with the force of our skills as well, means he can get himself out of situations a lot more frequently than his normal card with only the three-star skill moves. Um, his defending feels nice, his physicals are obviously always nice, he is a very aggressive footballer and he shows that in game as well. I absolutely love this card and I'm not even being biased because you've seen the amount of goals he got for us, how he was playing, the goals he was scoring, absolutely fantastic. So if you've got 700k, go and buy this Gerard card because he is jokes, he really is so good and he's definitely staying in my team, he really is going to stay in my team for a long, long time so I hope you guys have enjoyed today's play review, if you have, smash the thumbs up button for me, it is greatly appreciated, if you're new around here please do subscribe to the channel for more play reviews I've got a couple of players that I've recently got, uh, such as Tevez I've still not reviewed Vinny Jr I've got Garincha I've got a load of players that have lingering in my club that I might do reviews on so if there's anybody you want to see reviewed then please do let me know in the comments down below and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one see you later guys